Hi, uh, this is Dave McCutcheon. I'm uh, here with Zach Zidanek. We're going to talk about the levy uh, that we're having uh, up for vote in Roan County and why it's so important. And you can get all the information you need, hopefully, out of this little three-minute talk. That's our goal is to get it all in under three minutes. Check this out. It, hopefully, it'll answer all your questions. So uh, we'll start out with why it's so important. Why is the levy important? Why is Patch put, pushing it now? And why are we asking for it now? And I think uh, all those things are uh, a culminating event for us to look at the future of what we can do for Roan County and how it works for us now. Uh, currently we earn all our funding through grant funding and there are restrictions on that grant funding. Those restrictions are uh, essentially killing us. Um, we've seen it in Jackson County, we'll see it here in Roan County next year. We'll go from serving six schools to serving three schools and from serving 1,100 kids to serving maybe 200. Uh, and the regulations are what it's, what's happening, so we're trying to change that. And so what we're doing is putting a positive spin on it and what we can do by having a levy. And also to be proactive, since we know these changes are coming, to, so we have at least the opportunity in front of the voters to be able to support this and keep these programs going you know, into the future regardless of what happens and to be able to make sure that if this grant, new grant comes down and we can only serve three schools that we can continue to offer programs at all the schools in the county to all the students. Yeah, we think every student's important. Uh, and that's a big aspect of what we look at. We want to help working parents. We think it's very important to have working parents have somewhere for their child to go rather than home by themselves, uh, to have a place for that child to go and be safe, get educational enrichment, have a great role model, get an after school snack. And that's our goal. The Love You'll Help provide that. Uh, you know, of course, we're focusing on health aspects of our Roan County, uh, trying to make people healthier, specifically kids, and then putting in place community projects that will allow youth. Uh, adults and senior citizens to all gain from the projects we're putting into place and we want to look at um, how that all ties together. Now one of the key things, and this is what gets me excited about it, uh, the opportunity to have a levy. If we can get the levy passed, we'll have the opportunity to write more grants. And right now we're, we're stifled with what we can do. We can only write for the grants we're writing for until we pass the levy and show community support, buy-in by the entire county, and have that uh, $200,000 uh, unencumbered cash. So that's what we're looking for. Once we get that, we can actually take that money and bring more money in. We've brought in about six million dollars here in the last eight years uh, and we want to double and triple that amount. And we have to have, uh, to meet the qualifications to write those federal grants, we have to have that community support and buy-in. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, I'm excited about it. I've, I've got six grants that are sitting on my desk ready to be written that I think we'll qualify for and will be a shoe in for to bring in bigger money. And if that happens, then it becomes an investment that yes. more money would come back in. And then that uh, money that would be an investment by the taxpayers here locally with that levy would expand. And it's like putting your money in the bank and getting more for it than the original yep. money. That mm -hmm. money grows by making it us eligible to do these other grants. Right. And that's the key. Uh, we need to make an investment as a county in our youth. We need to make an investment to help working parents, to allow them to work and take classes. We need to make an investment in our senior citizens, and we're excited about that opportunity because that's what it is. It's an investment. And one thing I will say, and I've noticed this directly from working from the program uh, several years ago now when I was volunteering and mentoring students with Roger Miller to being part-time and helping teach classes to uh, being full-time is that the amount of money that comes into this program through grants or whether it be tax levy or whatever me is directly relevant to how many people are hired how many yep. programs are offered it's not more money comes in but not more comes out the other side right. when there's more money that comes into this program we hire more people we do more projects we have more classes we have more opportunities and it's a direct link between the two that's exactly that's right. what makes me feel good about what i do yep i agree with you wholeheartedly uh, we believe this wholeheartedly and this is what we want to do. We want to make Roan County better and we're asking the Roan County citizens to invest their trust in us uh, and invest in the youth and invest in their county and make a, make a difference in our county uh, for just a small cost. The, the levy is $31 a year for the average taxpayer, $5 a year for the average senior citizen. That's not a whole lot for everything that you'll get back and, uh, and investing in the future is an important aspect of what we do as a community. So if you have any questions, call our office at 927-8047. We'll be more than happy to talk to you and go over any of the stuff that you have questions about. 
Uh, we look forward to folks getting out there and voting, exercise your right to choose. Uh, we want to put the control for what happens to our kids in the hands of Roan County folks. Uh, so that's what we're looking for. So thanks to A&M Digital Technologies and check out their website, a&mdigitaltechnologies.com for making this all happen. And if you have any questions, call our office. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.